I give lots of tips and advice for my patients with Crohn's disease, but one of the most important topics I cover is nutrition. That's because of the role Crohn's plays in your ability to absorb nutrients properly and the role that food can play in managing your disease. The first thing you should know is that everyone should make a balanced diet part of their everyday life. We sometimes forget that food is more than a tasty treat. It's the fuel we fill our body with to keep everything running smoothly. And variety is the key to filling up properly. For more on how to maintain a healthy balance, you can check out the Canada Food Guide section on this DVD to get the full picture. For now, let's assume you know that a balanced diet includes fruits, vegetables, proteins from meats, dairy products, and legumes, and grain products like whole bread, pasta, and rice. You know, everything your mom told you to eat because it would make you grow and be strong. And she was right. You'll face a greater challenge than most other people as you work on a balanced diet because of what Crohn's can do to your digestive system. Not only will you likely go through times when your appetite goes down because a flare has you feeling nauseous and crampy, but your body may also have more difficulty absorbing nutrients from what you do eat because of the inflammation in your gut. Plus, you will likely discover that certain foods and even food groups like dairy products are tough on your system and best to avoid. So you may run the risk of being malnourished and have to take supplements and vitamins to keep up with your nutritional needs. Otherwise, your energy levels will drop and you may lose weight, including muscle mass, and have muscle spasms, get dull and dry hair, brittle nails, and experience changes in your moods. The list of things that can go wrong goes on and on, so you have to be mindful. Now, before I pass this section over to Jody, a Crohn's patient who will fill you in on some great nutrition tips in her life, I just wanted to discuss a few other diet-related topics you may have heard about, specific supplements, probiotics, and omega-3 fatty acids. Let's start with omega-3 fatty acids. These are found in foods like flaxseed, fish oil, leafy green vegetables, and cold water fatty fish like salmon, tuna, trout, mackerel, and anchovies. Our interest in them is due to the way that they can help moderate inflammation. However, Canadian researchers recently found that one-year relapse rates in Crohn's patients taking these acids were no different than for those patients not taking them. So though they may help your triglyceride levels, it doesn't appear they really impact your Crohn's symptoms. Probiotics are a type of bacteria that help balance the good and bad bacterial levels in your gut. They are considered friendly to our GI tract and are necessary for a healthy digestive system. You've probably seen yogurts and other products that contain probiotics. Now, while research on these bacteria are promising, there is not any solid evidence yet to show their beneficial effects in Crohn's disease. As for supplements, your doctor may recommend some for you, especially if you're lactose intolerant. Make sure you speak to your doctor before starting to take any. Typical supplements would include calcium, iron, folic acid, sodium, potassium, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. Interestingly, vitamin D is being shown to help prevent Crohn's and to have an impact on symptoms as well. And now here's Jody with some helpful diet tips. If you've already watched my Managing Crohn's story, then you know how important nutrition is to my success with Crohn's. But I'm going to go into more detail in this segment to maybe give you some tips for your own disease management. My Crohn's experience is pretty typical, I'm told. I suffered symptoms for about a year before I was diagnosed at about the age of 20. I struggled with moderate to severe symptoms for almost three years before my first real remission, which lasted a year. Then I relapsed for the next three years and faced the possibility of surgery because my disease was so advanced. And that's when everything changed. Surgery scared me. In fact, it scared me so much I decided to change my lifestyle. The first thing I did was to completely change my eating habits. I kept track of whatever I ate and all the medical and supplement changes I made in a journal and figured out what worked for me. I know it's different for everyone, but things like dairy, gluten, pork and beef weren't working for me, so I continued to avoid them as much as possible. Salt and sugar also set me off. 
I eat a lot of rice-based products, as well as bananas, chicken, and some low-fat dairy products. I read labels religiously when buying pre-made foods. It may seem like a bit of overkill, but it's made a huge difference in my life. I also try to give myself more energy by taking supplements, since Crohn's limits your ability to absorb nutrients. The supplements that I take are derived from natural sources. This is important for me because it's easier to digest. Sure, I eat the odd, risky food once in a while and suffer the consequences, but I'm cautious for the most part because I always fear a relapse. Although I'm not planning on having a relapse, I know that I'll be better for my efforts should it happen again. As I said, avoiding trigger foods is key for me. Certain foods for certain people will affect symptoms. Although they say there is no evidence that any food will worsen the inflammation, keeping track of food I eat has made a difference. So staying healthy is a combination of nutrition, exercise, and following treatments. Good luck and bon appetit. That was inspirational. So, where to next?